kittens. Max! Hi viewers, in this video we are going to see how to find the cubic root for the perfect cube number within few seconds. Actually if you want to find the cubic root for the cube number such as 17,576, normally we use two methods right, either we use long division method or we will use prime factorization method. If you people find those two methods are difficult or if you want to find the cubic root within few seconds, you can follow the method what I am going to teach. In this method, you can find the cubic root for 17,576 is 26 within 2 seconds. Okay. But if you want to use this method, the first thing what you have to know is, you have to know the cube for the numbers up to 10. Just put some effort to buy got it. I think it's not such a difficult task because we people know cube for the numbers up to 5. Only you have to memorize Q for the numbers 6, 7, 8 and 9. But once you have memorized the Q for these numbers, you can find the cubic root for the numbers having up to 6 digits. I am going to show you another trick also. Actually for the numbers that ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9, we will have the cube that ends with 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Okay. Just if you see the tabular column for one cube, will have 1, 4 cube will have the cube that ends in 4, 5 will have the cube that ends with 5, 6 we have the cube that ends with 6, 9 also if you have the cube that ends with 9. In other words, if you say for the numbers 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9 will have the cubic root that ends in 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 9. Remaining we are having only 4 numbers 2, 3, 7 and 8. There is also a tip to remember these numbers. Actually if you notice the number 2, for the number 2, we are having the cube that ends with 8. For the number 8, we are having the cube that ends with 2. Similarly, it continues for 3 and 7. For the number 3, we are having the cube that ends with 7. For the number 7, we are having the cube that ends with 3. We used to say 2 and 8 and 3 and 7 are flip-flop numbers. Let me explain the method using an example. Here we are having a number 17,576. This number ends in 6. That is in which place we are having 6. Already we know if a number ends in 6, we will have a cubic root that ends in 6. So we can write 6 in the units place. Second thing we have to notice, we have to skip 3 numbers from right to left. That is up to 100's place. Whatever number there is, just leave. Remaining what we have is 17. Just see where the number 17 falls in the tabular column. The number 17 falls between the range 8 and 27. We have to take the lower range only. In the lower range, we are having 8. So, the corresponding cubic root we have is 2. So, now the cubic root for 17,576 is 26. Let me explain two more examples so we can understand this method very clearly. Here we are having a number 8,57,375. This number ends in 5. Already we know if a number ends in 5, will have a cubic root that ends in 5. So we can write the unit digit as 5. So second step, we should not worry about the numbers up to 100's place. Remaining what we have is 857. Just see where the number 857 falls in the tabular column. It falls between the range 729 and 1000. So the lowest range is 729. The corresponding cubic root is 9. So the answer for 8,57,375 is 95. Let me see another example. For the number 4,74,552, the number ends in 2. So we know if a number ends in 2, we will have a cubic root that ends in 8. So we can write the unit digit as 8. If we skip 3 numbers, remaining what we have is 474. The number 474 falls between the range 343 and 512. If we take the lower range, the corresponding cubic root is 7. So the answer is 78. We will get the answer within 2 seconds. Next, what we are going to do is, in the next slide, I have written three problems. Just do the problems along with me, so you can find how easy this method is and how quickly we can find the cubic root. So, here are the three problems. In the first problem, the number ends with 1. So, the number ends with 1, the cubic root will end with 1. So, we can write 1. If you skip 3 digits, remaining will have 531. That falls between 512 and 729. So, the lowest range corresponding cubic root is 8. So the next number ends with 4. So the cubic root will ends with 4. We have written 4. If we skip 3 digits from right, we will have 157. 157 falls between 125 and 216. The lowest range is 125. The corresponding cubic root is 54. So the final sum, the number 
ends with 3. If the number ends with 3, we will have a cubic root that ends with 7. We have written 7. If we skip 3 digits from right, we will have 50. That falls between 27 and 64. So, the corresponding cubic root is 3. If you practice this method for 2 or more problems, you will find this method is a very easy and interesting method to find the cubic root for the perfect cube numbers. One thing what you have to do is just memorize the cube for the numbers up to 10. This method will definitely take less time comparing to our normal long division method and prime factorization method. Thank you.